In this video, I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know about creating a Facebook business page. Take action now. Hi, my name is Desiree. If you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. Before we dive into this, if you are building out a Facebook business page, you are definitely going to need a content marketing plan. So go grab my free content planning worksheet, which is going to make it very easy for you to know exactly what you're going to do with your content every single month so you can be effective with your new Facebook business page. All right, let's head over to the computer. Okay, to get started, I find it easiest to do this at the desktop. So you're gonna log into your Facebook account and you're gonna go over to the left-hand side you're gonna click pages. So once you click on pages, this is what you're gonna be presented with. You're gonna be shown pages that you are already a manager of and some things to kind of look through as we see here. We're gonna have business suite, which is where you manage your page once you've created it. You have discover, which allows for you to find new pages to like, like as an actual Facebook user. And then you also have pages that you like. These are for pages that you have already liked. Like, oh yeah, I like these pages that I follow. Let me go see what these are about. And invites are going to be pages that people have suggested that you go like. So we're going to actually just go up here to create a new page. So once you've hit create page, this is what you're going to be presented with. Over here on the left-hand side are the details for your page. These are the foundations. And as you update things, as we work through each of these prompts, this will change to show you what your Facebook page is planning to look like. So I'm just gonna name this, and then I have to give it a category. So a category is gonna be how someone associates what you do. Are you an entrepreneur? Are you a business owner? Are you in the insurance business? So it gives you all these different options that you can pick from. And you can add in multiple ones if it applies to you. So maybe you have an agent, maybe you're also a broker, maybe you, know, maybe you have a bank that you work with and you wanna add these different categories. These categories allows for Facebook to know who to put you in front of and how they're going to regulate what happens with your page. Next is going to be where you're gonna put your description. This is where you can put like the type of business you are, what information it is about you, so that you can really get a feel for this page. I want to note that you have a character limit of 255. This is where copying and pasting your about section from different places might be helpful. Like maybe you've developed this out from your website, maybe you are putting this on Instagram, whatever it may be. So as you can see, this middle section is updated. I can see I'm an insurance company. So the first thing I put is what shows up here. So this is why the first thing is most important. You have the name of my page and I have what information is about me. So I'm going to hit create my page. So as you can see down here, it says my page was created. Now I need to go add in my details. These other options have now popped up. So I'm gonna add a profile picture. So like this is gonna be your company logo that you've created to fit into the square or whatever it may be. So when I upload my photo, I can see how it looks here. As you can see, it tells me it needs to be 170 pixels by 170 pixels. Mine is already sized to be a perfect square, so it fits in really well. Next, we're going to add a cover. So our cover image is this thing right here at the top. This is going to be generally information about your company with a call to action that you want them to do something. So I'm just going to go here and hit add cover photo. As you can see, I have this drag to reposition. This is gonna allow for me to go up and down with it. I'm gonna choose to go down because I wanted to see. I would like to point something out to you. This right here, this bigger square image that you see, this is what you see on mobile. Mobile sizes for cover photos is totally different than what's for desktop. So you have this whole thing that you can work in um, and use these full pixel aspect ratios so that you can look really good on mobile and on the desktop since more people use Facebook on mobile than on desktop. Once you have it and you like it the way it is, we're just gonna hit save. So as you can see, it says you're now, in, in the bottom left-hand corner, it says you're now interacting as Desiree's page. When you have a Facebook business page that you are an admin of or creator of, when you go to that page or when you're commenting or sharing from that page, it's going to default to the page, not to you, the user. So you really just kind of want to work through this. WhatsApp is another communications tool that you can use that's provided by Facebook. I don't use WhatsApp. I don't do a lot of international business, so this doesn't apply to me. So I'm going to hit skip. But if you do use WhatsApp, add this button so it can increase your communication opportunities to get leads for your business. And again, I'm just going to create a post that directs to WhatsApp. I'm gonna skip this because I'm not using WhatsApp. Skipping it again, and I'm done. Okay, so now we have our Facebook business page here. This is what this is gonna look like, and we're just gonna kind of work through some of these different settings. What's really great is Facebook makes this easy for you by set up your page for success, and it gives you all of these things, these 13 steps that you should complete. So again, establish our page's identity. 
So we've completed our page name, our category, our picture, our bottom. Here are the six steps that we have left. So let's add a website. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my personal website in here, the X, and it is going to be there. I'm going to add my location, and I'm going to say my page does not have location because I work remotely and I, so I can be really anywhere. I'm going to add my business hours, and my open always, and my permanently closed, open on select hours. I'm just not gonna say no hours of availability because I kind of work when I want to. <laughs> then I'm going to add my phone number, so if I have a phone number that I want to use, you know, five, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And then I can put that in here, or I can say that I don't have a phone number. Either way works. And for the these purposes, I'm just gonna say I doesn't have a phone number. Again, so I can connect to the WhatsApp, which I have no desire to do. And so I'm gonna say this doesn't apply to my page. And add an action button. So the action button is actually a really important thing for you to do. So let's add a button. This is where we can make people do something specific that we want them to do. And it's all based on the kind of business that you have. If you want it to be easy for people to follow your page, just do this. Buy a gift card. They can do a order if you're like a restaurant or a store. They can book a session with you, can call you. They can contact you, send messages through the messenger bot. There's so many great options. So if you're not sure what to do, I encourage you just to hit the follow button and it's gonna make it a little bit easy kind of default for you to do. Okay, we still have some more steps to work through. So now we want to introduce our page. This is where we can invite our personal Facebook friends to this page so that they can get an idea of, you know, we can see what they're doing. We can just select people. If you have specific people that you want to do this for, and as you can see, we can see what they're at. Facebook is suggesting that we do 10. So I have my 10, I'm gonna send my invites, okay? And I'm gonna create a welcome post. And I'm gonna say welcome to my tutorial Facebook page for my YouTube channel. And I can change my colors. I can make it like one of these, I can make it a cool soccer ball, I can make it an apple. Uh, I can add emojis to whatever it is that I'm doing, put it in here, and then I can just hit post and it's gonna go up onto my feed. So here's where that post is and I can see right here at the top. Now let me touch base a little bit on these things on the far left hand side. So these are different things that you can do in, in Facebook. You can have your news feed, which is what you see here. You can manage a store, like if you have products that you're selling, you can put your podcast here. So if you wanna put your podcast in here, like for me, I have the women of YouTube, I can put that in here. I can do like resources and tools to see like what's available for me to do to help my business page grow. There's so many tutorials and examples of things that I can learn that suit that are super helpful. I can manage jobs if I want to do a job posting. These are the notifications that are happening to my page. I have my insights, which allows me to see the data of my page, like who's following, what times are they going up, when are they doing things. Ad Center allows me to run ads onto my Facebook page, which is a super serious piece. I encourage you to check out the other videos on my channel about these. Page quality allows for uh, Facebook to track what I'm doing and see if I have any violations, if I'm qualifying for anything. I can edit all of my page info that I filled out in here. And I encourage you to do this because then you can pick your username here. And this is where people can find you with a custom URL. For example, if you want to go check out my personal Facebook business page, you can just type in this custom URL and it's gonna take you right over, okay? So your Facebook page settings is important because it's gonna take you to this whole new menu of options that you're gonna to wanna to work through. It's gonna allow for you to manage your security, your notifications, filters for different things that you wanna do, add admins to your page, and so on and so forth. So you're gonna to wanna to work through each one of these things as you see fit. Uh, my number one thing to encourage you to do is to add somebody else as an admin to your page so that if something happens to your page, that trusted person, maybe like a spouse or a partner for your business, they have access so it's not all completely gone. And I also like to turn off notifications, depending on how active I plan this page to be. I turn off all notifications because when I, man I manage so many pages, it doesn't make sense for me. But you can go through and work through and turn these on and off as you see fit. And whatever you don't have turned on will show up here at the top. And that is how you create, set up a Facebook business page. Now, if you're wanting to know more about how you can use Facebook for your business, watch this video right here. And watch this video right here because YouTube thinks you are really going to like it. And until next time, I will see you soon.